What's not there to love about beach volleyball? It's on the beach, it's outside in the sun. The vibe, first of all, the venue, I must say as well, we should have some more tournaments in Johannesburg, I think. Firstly, because it's weather conducive, so to speak. Not today, though. I, I love volleyball. I'm so passionate about volleyball. I basically feel like it's my life almost, like I would choose it over anything else, basically. On the fact that I can hang out with my mates again, and uh, the competition is tough between us. When we're on the court, we're not friends, but once we're off the court, it's all good. I mean, it's like, a, it's like a going away holiday and you're with mates, you're down on the beach, you couldn't ask for more. And they've got some nice flying fish. Huh? They've got flying fish as well, and that stuff is great. Al and myself, we're playing quarterfinals um, later on this afternoon against the number one seed in South Africa currently. And we're looking to improve from our previous uh, finish, which was the third in Durban. Very excited. We've got a pretty strong game. Um, we're going to come out tough. Guys aren't going to find it easy. We had to take this tournament. Get nervous. <laughs> in the first of the quarterfinals, Alan Quinton and Dominic Goliath were to be pitched up against the Olympic hopefuls in Grant Goldschmidt and Leo Williams. The Grant Leo combination winners of uh, Pool B, the runners up in Group D were Alan and Dominic. And eventually it would be Grant and Leo who would pick up uh, the first of the uh, semi-final berths available. 21 to 17, 21 to 11. 21 to 17 was uh, pretty tight as far as Grant and Leo were concerned. But Alan and Dominic putting up a pretty good performance. Appreciation coming from the supporters as well. It really was a tremendous tournament. The second of eight competitions. The first in Durban, the second in Cresta. And a two set to love victory for Grant and Leo. So the guys really want to be there. They want their... uh, it was a quite tough one. We played a Joburg team, the highest ranked Joburg team that came through. But quite tough in the beginning. Uh, weather as well, a bit cold and air a bit thin. We're not quite used to the air. It's getting a bit better. But uh, yeah, I think well played. For the, the competitors, it's extreme, extreme pressure and extreme, um, how can I say, hard work that you need to do. Because we need to work hard in the gym and all that stuff in order to perform in the sand, you know. The winners of the Durban leg of the Flying Fish Beach Volleyball Series, Ivan and Ricky, found themselves coming up against Jerome Fredericks and Jacques Oberholzer. And it would provide the first shock of the series, really. Ivan Solomons and Ricky Stevens, winners of uh, Group A. And in Pool C, the runners-up were Jerome and Jacques. But right from the outset, Jerome and Jacques were there to make a point in the second of the quarterfinals. A little pitch over the net there from Ricky Stevens. But eventually, Jerome and Jacques would win 21-17, 21-18. That was a good game. Um, it's a brand new partnership with Jerome, and uh, we're really excited to be in the semi-finals, taking out the number one seed. So, um, yeah, very excited. The semi-finals, we're going to play with their minds, and we're going to go on offense. Go hard in the blocks and the line, and I'll just pick up everything on the cross court. But we, we, won't, we won't really play a lot on defense. We will go more on offense. Uh, it's, I think it's our strongest point. The runners of Group C were Freedom Chi and Clinton Stemmet, who were also runners-up to Ivan and Ricky in the Durban event. Runners-up in Group A, Warren Sieberts and Kiefer Govender playing in the third of the quarterfinals. And it would be quite a torrid affair for Freedom and Chia. Don't forget that it was uh, Freedom who picked up an injury in the Durban event that maybe hampered him somewhat as far as their final was concerned against Ivan and Ricky. But Freedom and Clinton would go on to win the quarterfinal, losing the first set 21 to 15, then winning 21 11, 15 5. On the left hand side, standing at two meters, give up please for Leo. Yeah, it's quarterfinals, uh, kind of took it too easy. Uh, we lost the set there, unfortunately, but. Yeah, that's how it goes, but we won the match, which is very important. Uh, we're still the number three seeds of the tournament. I'm pretty sharp to that. We play together in the, in, the, in the national team, indoor team, so we have a, a good relationship. So if we can just communicate a little bit better, then we'll be okay. Final of the quarterfinals, pitched Colin Pocock and his new playing partner, Casey Agostidis, against Alexandra Popovich and Robin Kohler. Colin Pocock had played with Sean Hayes in the Durban event and lost out in the semi-finals of the first event of the Flying Fish Beach Volleyball Series. Alexander and Robin, though, would put up scant performance because uh, Colin and Casey took the first set 21-13 and then the second set at 21-16 as well, just to uh, 
Put a stamp of authority on the match and move forward into the quarterfinals. Colin and Casey then successful on the sand at Cresta. Everyone obviously wants to make the semi-finals. Our aim was the top four. From here is a bonus. Uh, anything can happen in the semis. The four teams that have gone through are all pretty strong teams. Any of us could win the event. Uh, and it depends what's going to happen tomorrow. And so I think we've got a good chemistry going. And not only that, but you know we have slightly different skill sets. So Casey's an absolute defensive machine. And uh, me being a bit of a taller player, have uh, got a bit of block. So I play at the front in the net. And uh, you know we complement each other's skills. So it makes for a good team. The first of the men's semi-finals pitched Colin and Casey up against Jerome and Jacques. Don't forget that Jerome and Jacques have caused the upset of the tournament so far when in the quarterfinals they beat Ivan and Ricky, who'd won the Durban competition just a couple of weeks ago. Oh, Casey Agostidis then in the orange cap, Colin in the black cap for the Colin and Casey combination. And Jerome and Jacques on the left hand side of your picture. Jacques, the taller of the two players. It would be pretty tight at one stage of the match, but at 19 to 16, Colin and Casey looking strong to wrap up the first set. And a change of ends would do Colin and Casey no harm whatsoever. The signal then coming from Colin as Casey trying to serve cross court. Jacques, the taller of the two, Jerome from the uh, right hand court looking for sand for Jerome and uh, Jacques. And, uh, just a little bit of communication maybe lacking in the Colin and Casey combination. So Jerome on the serve in the first set going to Colin and Casey by 21 points to 17. There are always going to be some discussions on the bench in the turnover between sets. Colin and Casey, no exception, but they looked pretty relaxed as far as the semi-final was concerned. Jerome and Jacques looking to repeat their upset over Ivan and Ricky that they managed to accomplish during the quarterfinals. However, things were going pretty smilingly for Colin and Casey, leading by 18 points to 15 and looking for a touch on the net as well and to get ever closer to a place in their first final of the Flying Fish Beach Volleyball Series. So Colin on serve. Looking for some space at the net. The dive in vain, though, come from the Colin Casey combination. And they eventually managed to set up the first match point at 20 points to 16. Sparing dive off the left hand side from Jacques. Looking for the spike as well as he finds Sand down the middle of the Colin Casey combination to drag another point back for the side playing in the blue vests. So Jacques again with a serve set up for Casey Agostidis at the net. A little touch off the hand of Jacques, the taller of the two. And the first semi-final won by Colin and Casey, 21-17, 21-16. Very much pleased that we came from the, from the qualifiers, which was on Thursday, played about eight games, eight, nine games. We got to the semis, we expected the qualies, but I mean, we got to the semis as well. So um, we're very pleased at, at our performance. Uh, we only trained a week together. So that's, that's quite a bit of, I mean, it's, I'm very proud of my partner as well. I mean, both of us doing so well. I think the semi-final showed that there is some improvement that we can really work on. Uh, consistency. Um, we know what we're doing, but to do it over and over, that's the mind game of beach volleyball. So that's what we'll be working on. With Colin and Casey in the final already. Grant Goldschmidt and Leo Williams found themselves up against Freedom Chia and Clinton Stemmet, who were the losing finalists to Ivan and Ricky in the first leg of the Flying Fish Beach Volleyball Series in Durban. <laughs> so Grant and Leo in the blue vests, Freedom and Clinton in the white, and the fans settling in for what could be a classic semi-final. Opportunities available to play in the final against Colin and Casey, who'd beaten to Roman Jacques in two sets in the first of the semi-finals. Serving at 19 to 15, Grant and Leo going on to the attack and are looking for that point to wrap up the first set. Having to change over every five points, don't forget. Grant and Leo looking very confident indeed. Freedom Chi on the left-hand side of the court. Clinton Stemmet 
on the right and a strong block at the net coming from Grant and uh, the first set going the way of Grant and Leo by 21 points to 15 and uh, that combination would be very very happy indeed. Grant Goldschmidt and Leo Williams with aspirations to go to the Olympic Games in 2016 in Brazil. A very relaxed looking combination indeed. There was work to be done by Freedom and Clinton not wanting to lose out in the semi-finals after having made the finals in Durban and very earnest discussions particularly coming from Clinton Stemmets. Into the second set and with Freedom and Clinton on serve they were trailing by 19 points to 16. Ball set up for Leo who finds the sand on the Freedom and Clinton side of the court and setting up a match point for Grant and Leo looking for a place in the final to meet Colin and Casey the next day. The serve then from Grant, Clinton at the net and drops it into sand to pull another point back for Freedom and Clinton. There didn't seem to be any panic though in the Grant-Leo combination. Clinton Stemmett looking on, rather concerned as Freedom Chia set up the serve, but into the net it went. Rather disappointing way to end the semi-final. Grant and Leo successful, 21-15, 21-17, and a place in the final. We enjoyed that. It was clean. It was good volleyball. You know, no fuss, just you know, straightforward, good tactical play. But they were much better than us today, and you accept that. Yeah, we have a month to prepare. Uh, we, we actually have a, 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 a bit of more time to train now because mm. we're skipping, we have the month and it's in October, I think. Definitely, yeah. So we pop, we'll definitely put in the time and be much stronger when we come back. Both of the semi-finals then won in straight sets. Colin and Casey over Jerome and Jacques, 17 and 16. Grant and Leo over Freedom and Clinton, the finalists from Durban. 21-15, 21-17. It all set up to be a great final. Uh, we started at the beginning of the year. Uh, we decided to play together. He's been the strongest opponent that uh, I've been playing against for many, many years. Um, he would always win some, I would almost win others. <laughs> so we've been, we've been having a tough rivalry for about four years, but then we decided to actually play together because we thought that we'd make a better team. Uh, my personal um, strength and skill sets is at the net blocking. They call me the wall. <laughs> Just recently uh, acquired name. I think the experience counts in my favor. I always keep a cool head, sometimes too cool. <laughs> but I think that's my, that's my strong point. I'm always focused. I don't let a lot of things affect my game. Uh, we do have some goals to qualify for the Rio Olympics. I qualified last time around and we didn't get that in enough international exposure. So we came up short in London. But we want to start now already and hopefully next year we have some African qualifiers. So we have to be the best in Africa to qualify for a spot in Rio. The men's final would be a tight fought event with the match going to three very, very hard fought sets indeed. Colin Pocock and Casey Agostides against Grant Goldschmidt and uh, Leo Williams. And perhaps Grant and Leo would be the favourites going into this encounter with the new combination of Colin and Casey. The side in white were Colin and Casey in the blue, Grant and Leo looking to make it into the winner's uh, circle for the first time in this uh, beach volleyball series. The first set was pretty tight, 21 to 18 eventually in favour of Colin and Casey Agostides. On serve was Colin from the left-hand court. And a good block across court by the left-handed Grant Goldschmidt. And Grant and Leo then on serve, but unfortunately not able to make the grade on that occasion. Casey Agostides then from the left-hand court. He normally plays off the right-hand side and a good spike across the court. A point to Grant and Leo. Change of ends as well on the beach sand at the Cresta shopping center in Johannesburg and Grant and Leo on serve looking for points in the first set. Casey off the right hand side and Casey looking for sand down the line. Good work done by the shorter of the pairing of Colin and Casey. So once again 
Casey Agostides on serve. A little dink over the net, but immediately back over by Casey Agostides. It's a great point for Colin and Casey. This time, Colin Pocock with a serve going down the line. 18-20 now, still set points to Colin and Casey. Colin and Casey with a set point at 20 points to 18. Yeah, Casey. Casey, the set up from Colin Pocock. Casey trying yeah, to go Casey down the line. Nice the recovery at the net though from Grant yeah, Goldschmidt. Casey with the set. What does Colin do? Again, Colin he looking for the dinky to sand. The first set going to Colin and Casey by 21 points to 218. Very, very happy they were as well, Colin Pocock and Casey Agostides. Into the second set, and Grant and Leo with a comfortable margin of lead, but that point going to Colin and Casey, forcing the issue on Goldschmidt and Williams. Serve again from the left-hand court, coming from Colin Pocock, and set up by the left hand of Grant Goldschmidt, playing off the right-hand court for Grant and Leo. Powerful effort, Agostides with a great recovery, then the dink over the net, still not able to find sand. Leo Williams this time is successful for Grant and Leo as they stretch their advantage, looking for a set point and looking to tie the match up at one set apiece. So the first set to Colin and Casey, 21 points to 18, the second to Grant and Leo by the same scoreline and it was all set for a nail-biting final set. Don't forget, in the final set of beach volleyball, it's the first to 15 and to lead by two. And once again, it would be a very, very hard-fought affair indeed. Seem to be a little frustration starting to keep creep into the camp of Colin and Casey. The ball set up at the net by Grant Goldschmidt. And again, finding sand in the camp of Colin and Casey. Big performance from no, Colin and Casey in the first set, taking it by 21 to 18. And right throughout the set, they never gave up hope of grabbing the victory. Colin Pocock with a strong spike down the line. And he found himself on serve just moments later. Leo Williams with a little touch into sand. And once again, a combination of Colin and Casey just uh, allowing too much space for Grant and Leo. Grant again on serve, set up for Colin at the net. And the block successful from Grant and Leo for yet another point. The second set then to Grant and Leo by 21 points to 18. And into the final set with Casey and Colin leading by two points to one. Sand, sand found at the back of the court by Colin Pocock to give the side in white an early advantage in the final set. Grant Goldschmidt finding Sand himself for the Grant-Leo combination as they had to change after the first five points with Colin and Casey taking an easy lead. Agostides going down the line. Nice recovery for Leo Williams applying pressure to Colin and Casey. And the pressure was on both sides of the net. Both combinations had grabbed a set in the final of the men's competition, 21 to 18, and a good block at the net that time by Grant and Leo, causing Colin and Casey to reconsider their strategies. Again, Colin setting up for Casey, and the final bringing plenty of activity for the fans around Cresta Shopping Centre to enjoy. Not often that you find uh, a beach volleyball competition being played inland, but there'll be plenty of that throughout the course of the competition. And another big smile on the face of Casey Agostides as Colin and Casey grab another point in the final. Strong spike off the left hand of Grant Goldschmidt from the right court for Grant and Leo. And still the battle royal was continuing in Cresta. Leo Williams on serve, back it came from Colin. Little dink over the net from uh, Colin Pocock. The dive in vain from Leo Williams. Colin Pocock continued on serve. Williams to Goldschmidt, Williams down the line and uh, unsuccessful for Casey on that occasion. Goldschmidt with the serve this time and set up at the net 
for Colin Pocock. The contact called by the umpire, and the point going to Grant and Leo. Slowly but surely, Grant and Leo started to apply more and more pressure, and Colin and Casey were starting to feel the, the heat of battle. That little tink going to the back of the court, but too strong from the Grant Leo combination, giving Colin and Casey another opportunity to fight their way back into contention in the final set. Strong serve from Casey Agostides. We weren't able to make it work for them on that occasion. Halfway through the set and still 8-7 in favour of Colin and Casey and the battle continued at the net with a strong spike from Colin Pocock. Colin had played in the first tournament of the tournament of the competition in Durban with Sean Hayes. This time playing with Casey Agostides. Agostides, his wife Judith, had won in the women's competition. And looking to make it a family affair on top step of the podium by the end of the men's final. Grant and Leo, though, were hanging on to try and see if they could grab their first title of the contest as well looking for that position to qualify for the Olympic Games and to do that they'd have to finish as the uh, top combination on the African continent let alone in this series and again Colin Pocock seemed imperious at the net with support coming quickly from Casey Agostides the veterans of beach volleyball competition Colin and Casey and really looking to make it work, but that time a little over enthusiastic from the back of the court by Colin Pocock. So with the scores level at 10 all, there's everything to play for. Another change of ends, and both sides are looking to just grab the advantage as Leo Williams came up with a short serve back from Casey Agostides. Agostides at the net, but that's a good block from Leo Williams. The ball seemed to go off the court though from Grant and Leo and the advantage back in the court of Colin and Casey. Colin goes for the jump. A little net court but nicely handled as well off the left court by Leo Williams who grabs the point for Grant and Leo. The pressure was mounting with every point that was coming in the final of the men's competition and a really big drama uh, that had come through the semi-finals and uh, on a set all pressure was mounting particularly on the combination of Grant and Leo. Grant calling for a little bit of quiet as he tried to get his concentration back. Casey Agostides on serve and knocks it wide of the target rather un uncustomarily for a man whose service had been pretty good up to that stage but it did give the advantage back to Grant and Leo Agostini's at the net another little net cord favoring Grant and Leo they pick up early trying to go down the center of the court and eventually able to seal the point at another change of ends Leo Williams continuing on serve and the little dink from Colin Pocock not successful as he drops it into the net and Grant and Leo setting themselves up with their first match point. Leo Williams still on serve, Agassidi's at the net, nice recovery and a cross court off the hands of Colin and Casey and the title going to Grant and Leo the first set 21 to 18 to Colin and Casey but 21 18 15 12 to Grant and Leo the champions at the Cresta shopping center So after their victory in the Flying Fish Beach Volleyball Series in Cresta, it's Grant Goldschmidt and Leo Williams who lead the rankings ahead of Colin Pocock and Casey Agostides. Freem Chi and Clinton Stemmett in third place and Jerome Fredericks and the Jacques Orberolser in fourth position. Ivan and Ricky find themselves down in fifth position. And in the women's competition at the Flying Fish Beach Volleyball Series in Cresta, Kirsten Pocock and Judith Agostides top the pile ahead of Palesa and Randy. Sheen and Dika in third position, having won the third and fourth place playoff. And Natasha and Nikki in fourth position. 
to the victors, the spoils. Sheen and Dika with the bronze medals, with a victory in the third and fourth place playoff. And Bless and Randy picked up the silver medals and seemed quite happy about it as well. Yes, we're hoping to go to Kimberley. Um, we've got a lot of work to do, but it's been a good tournament and we look forward to giving another go next time. We actually have a bit of more time to train now. We'll definitely put in the time and be much stronger when we come back. We're definitely going to Kimberley. We need to take revenge in Kimberley. <laughs> So congratulations to all the winners and don't forget the next tournament in the Flying Fish Beach Volleyball Series will be held in Kimberley in October. This beach volleyball action was proudly brought to you by Flying Fish Premium Flavoured Beer.